Who's been the manager about the game? Such a big disappointment. Yes. Uh, it was good to come back into training on Monday. That was a, that was a big thing. Um, listen, we were absolutely we were devastated as, as a group. Really disappointed. That's probably the worst I've ever felt in my full career after a game. Um, so Saturday night was Saturday was tough. Saturday night was tough. Sunday was tough. So it was good to come into work on in Monday and, and get back to training. Um, some of don't always train on Monday, you know, but for me it was it, it was a big, big thing to get back on the pitch, back training with the boys and, and, and getting amongst them and preparing for Saturday. You mean serious? <laughs> Did you watch your game? <laughs> no, listen, no, I, but, but no, no, it was because it's, I felt when, when the second goal went in, you know, as soon as the ball left my boot, I had, I had, I could see it happening that they were going to score. So at that point in the game, it was it was difficult. So so for me, it was it, it was it was really disappointing. That's probably the first time in, in my career that I can remember. As you see, mistakes are common in the game, but you just need to you, you need you need to put it behind you. You need to move on. You need to face up to the music, and that's and that's how it goes. You know, it's there's I'll make mistakes in the future, and there's loads I've made mistakes in my career. Everybody will, everybody does, but it's how you react from it, and that's 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 the biggest thing. No, that, that, that's that's what I'm saying there. You know, it's at 34, you're sitting there saying you've pretty much experienced quite a lot in your career. You've experienced the highs you're winning leagues, you've you've experienced the, the, the lows you're losing leagues, winning cups, losing cups, pretty much everything, you know, but 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 that was certainly for for me Saturday was 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 the toughest thing I've had to take. But again it's it's part of your when you've had a long career and a successful career, you take the the, the highs with the lows and, and that's that's the best for me, that's the best way that you need to deal with it. No, you just deal with it. It's, it's life. You, it's 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 just one of the things. It's you can you can sit in a dark room and and and, and watch it over and over and over and beat yourself up, or you just dust yourself down and go again. You know, you're you're back into training the next day, uh, or, or in the Monday, and you and, and you go again. Everybody can can pinpoint things and and, and pick the bones out. But as what as you just deal with it. It's, there's no. A, I think the most important thing is, is, like I say, is that you put yourself back in the training pitch on the Monday, you put yourself back in the pitch on the Saturday, you do the things that you've always done, because I, I think that, that's what people, certainly that you guys, you, I've never experienced uh, like football at this this level or even training it. Mentally, it's, it's a big, big thing, and I don't think players get... You, they, they don't get the credit they deserve at, at, at times solely because it's, it's no easy waking up and, and, and putting yourself on the front line on a Saturday at three o'clock in the spotlight, training every day, mentally it takes, uh, no, every day, every day, every day can do it. So for me, it's it's a big, big thing, just win, lose or draw, make a mistake, whatever. The next day you just put yourself back in the firing line and, and you, you tackle everything on head on. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter to me in the slightest to it is. If I'm being perfectly honest, it, it, would have, it would make no difference to me whatsoever whether I was going to play Man United, Real Madrid or whoever it was on the Saturday. The, the next game's the most important one. It's good to get back to league business now. Uh, it's good to have the winter break out the road. Um, we know where we're at as a squad. Hopefully we can get a couple of new faces in for the, for, for the remainder of the season and we'll look to kick on. I don't think we've, we've really hurt top for them consistently this year. I think when you see the levels that we can get to, um, in the games against Celtic, for example, you, that's the level that we can play at. We, we know that, but it's trying to find that consistency. Um, the manager's tinkered with his, with his formations, uh, with, his, with his lineups at times. Um, and that's just to try and find the right, the right uh, blend, if you like, the right style of play that suits us with the players that we've got at our disposal. So hopefully we can get one or two in. I think it's important in January to, to get a freshness to the group. Um, so we'll see that what, what the window, window brings to us. There's not just some positives to take, you know. I think when you look at the when you look at the, the whole game, you know, it was we were very comfortable. Some Rangers are a good side, make, make no doubt about it. They've got good players, a very good manager in charge, and they've got players that can hurt you. They've got players that can make a difference. But, but I think everybody that comes to our place, they know they're going to be up, up, up against a, a, a side that are going to give everything for the manager. 
for the supporters, for each other. Um, but like I say, it's just trying to find that blend of of the consistency. I think I said it in the press earlier. I, th I think any team that I've played in, you're only as good as your strikers. That's your strikers are, are the people that make the difference. And when you've got guys like Louis Moult, Scott McDonald, they're going to make a difference for you. There's nothing worse than playing inside where you wonder where your next chance is going to come from, where your next goal is going to come from, because that's the reason why people want to buy strikers is because they're the ones that make a difference. So we've got guys on our team that can do that, so it's important that the rest of us, we work as hard as we can to give the, these, these guys the platform to go and express ourselves and, and win us football matches.